All right, today we're going to do the video walk around on the new 2017 Eagle Cap 1160. Eagle Cap is the best insulated camper in the industry with the EC Max four season insulation package with an R19 in the ceiling, R13 in the sidewall, and an R22 in the floor with a 30,000 BTU furnace. One of the new changes for 2017 is the two tone cap color. One piece fiberglass cap now has a two tone gray, which works perfect on this dually 1160 is recommended for a dually one ton truck as you can see here as we go down the driver's side you see the standard slam latches which are standard on all Eagle Cap products slim simply lift the lever opens your door one-handedly and here you can see the inside storage of the dinette section from the outside also there's a storage area for your manual crank and a place to store your 30 amp power as we continue to the rear of the unit, you see the large, long window to the rear, which is by your rear recliners. And just below that is your generator compartment, the rear access of your 30,000 BTU furnace, and your 30 amp detachable power cord connection. As you can see here with the cover open, ready for connection to your 30 amp detachable power cord. Below that area is the generator compartment if equipped. This one is. You can see the exhaust out of the bottom. Again, slam latches here. And this compartment is where your 2500 LP generator Cummins Onan is installed. Eagle Cap 1160 has the new generation Happy Jack 4800 Happy Jacks. These are rated at 2500 pounds per jack, giving you the strongest jacks in the industry. The new generation Happy Jacks have a completely galvanized upper tube, galvanized lower leg and foot with a nice seal system on the bottom, not allowing debris to get in. And this upper tube is also powder coated over the top of the galvanized. So if you get rock chips or dings, there's no more rusting coming through like on other jack models. At the rear of the Eagle Cap 1165 is the frameless rear window, the folding ladder, the cargo storage bay, battery, and propane compartments. To the driver's side of the rear is your battery compartment here. Again, slam latches throughout, one hand opening, and the battery compartment is large enough to hold two six volt batteries. All your wiring here for your generator start to your batteries is all right there with your battery tight. Rear center of the unit, because this is above the floor rail design, gives you a huge cargo storage area here. This cargo storage area is the housing for your dump valves. As you can see here for your liquid gray and black. Your 12 volt battery disconnect right there. To the front of that side of the compartment is your brain boxes for your slide mechanisms. And you can see the deep addition this year for 2017 with about three and a half feet longer storage on the left side of the storage bay. You can see the large ducting all the way through the unit. This unit has ducting into the basement, bathroom, and all throughout the coach with that 30,000 B2 furnace. To the left of your entry to the double door barn door entry to your cargo bay is your 12 volt push button light. So you have light in your cargo area. To the right side of the cargo bay is your two 30 pound, seven and a half gallon propane tank compartment. Auto switch over valve. Lower tray so it's easier to get your hands above it and remove your tanks for filling. Below your propane compartment is your brackets with your leg mounts for your folding roof ladder. As you can see here, you just simply unlatch this ladder right here and it folds down into place and locks into those rubber bars. As we come around to the passenger side of the unit, you can see the nice four step entry step into the coach, giving you nice easy access from the ground up. Your model ID tags are to the right side of the entry door here. All Eagle Cap product is built with the TCC, true composite construction, giving you a three year structural warrant. In front of the side rear door is a 110 outlet. GFI 
outlet for outdoor power if you need it. In front of that is your black tank flush. Comes standard on all Eagle caps. This is where you hook your fresh water to when you're dumping your black tanks, giving you a nice rinsing of your black tank while dumping. To the front of that is the back of your hot water heater access for your hot water tank, gas. And you can see also your COG tag here where we mark the COG on every unit. That needs to be within the load range of every truck. And this is far forward of the load range. You can see here it's just slightly behind the axle. The load range on this truck is 20 inches in front of the axle and 10 inches in the rear of the axle. This is about 8 or 10 inches in front of the rear load range. In front of the hot water heater access is your outside shower and your city water connection right here. These are both lockable compartments. You can simply pull out your shower hose, hook it up into its self-stand and shower to the outside or you can pull it loose and spray off your feet, wash the dog, clean the fish, whatever you might need an outside shower for. Because this is recommended for a dually truck, this truck camper has the dually brackets on it to clear the rear wheel fenders of a dually truck. You simply press the lower button down here at the bottom and once you do that the entire leg slides out so you have clearance going past your dually. The Eagle Cap 1160 comes with a 10 foot electric power awning with LED lighting inside so you have a lighted campground when you want to extend it. This is electric and gas prop so even in windy conditions you don't get an awning that you're afraid to use because the gas props are flexible. It makes an awning that you can easily use. That covers our outside features the Eagle Cap 1160. Let's go inside the unit. First let's open the entry door and show you what it looks like with the slide in position. This is a double slide unit. You can see here the rear slide comes completely into the unit and you have to slide it out to get into the unit which gives you the maximum space as you'll see inside your slide switches are right here to the right. Just simply press this button here and your slide mechanism you can see the slide starting to go out with the Schwinn-Tex slide mechanism. The second slide switch here is for your dinette or driver's side slide. Just press that and it goes out the same way as your rear slide. As you can see here as it extends to the out position. To the left of the entry step into the unit is your electric jack remote. There's a pouch right here for it to store handily and for easy access. It's got simply controls for each, all four jacks individually, or the two center buttons will run all four jacks at the same time, allowing you to raise your camper and level it when you offload it from the truck. You can carry this around with you, completely watching the camper as it raises and lowers into your truck for ease of load and unload. As you step into the right of the unit, this particular model has been ordered with the solar option. This has two panels. You can put up to three uh, 30 amps of uh, solar power, 300 watts. This is the Go Power pre-wire system. This is where your monitor would go on this particular model. If this model is ordered without this, it will have the Go Power decal showing that this is the installation point for the monitor. Just to the left of that is the new Digi level monitoring system, new for EgoCap for 2017. This new Digi level monitor system, you simply press the button to the right. It will give you your tank capacities. Press it one more time and it will show you your battery charge state. Below that is your water pump switch, your water heater switch, your entry light and your porch light switches all from one location. This model is also ordered with the full generator install as we showed earlier outside. This is your start button from the inside on the Cummins Onan generator. You simply press the start button up here to start it. This is your hour meter here and your indicator light flashes here as a safety warning system. The lower right of your entry step 
is your electric awning switch. You just simply press this switch to the out or in position and your electric awning then will extend as you see here coming out over our doorway. Just in front of your awning electric switch is your awning light. It's lighted red when your light is on so if you happen to roll it up with it still on it will let you know that you forgot to turn it off. These are all LED lighting that's in your awning there. We'll give you a nice lighted campground. As we first walk into the unit, you see the new flooring for 2017. It's the new barn wood look, lighter color to go with the new gray interior. This is the new gray tone for the interior wood colors. You can see up at the top roof as we enter in is your around your fantastic fan is the mood lighting, which is white in color this year. Gives you a nice soft lighting inside in the evening if you don't want all of the new lighting that you see here on. The new lighting is a push button center light LED. Again Eagle Cap was the first in the industry and truck campers to put 100% LED interior exterior lighting throughout their campers. New for 2017 and the entry wardrobe here it used to be just a door underneath. Now we've added a drawer to that this year so you can access more storage in that unit. The upper section wardrobe is now a dual purpose. Still has the hanging rod at the top. You want to take the adjustable shelves out. As you can see here you can simply just move your shelves and adjust them to wherever you want them. So you can adjust them to your needs. You can have hanging here or pantry storage for your galley. As you first step into the unit, you see the large, long window. You'll see all the windows in this unit it really makes us an open floor plan for nice visibility all the way through the coach. And the rear slide standard is a sofa in this location. This particular model was ordered with the theater seating recliners. This gives you a double recliners here like your wall hugger recliners at home. You simply pull the lever beside the seat cushion right here and your recliner footrest kicks out and then you can scoot down to a full reclining position with your theater seat and recliner. This is an Eagle Cap ALP exclusive. This is traditional residential wall hugger recliner optional on the Eagle Cap 11s. In the center armrest is dual drink holders. Then there's a storage tray in the back side here to store your keys, cell phones, additional items there. As we turn to the right as we come into this unit you see the optional U-shaped dinette in this model. This was ordered with the U-shaped dinette. This is also modular furniture which we won the 2014 Truck Camper Magazine Reader Choice Award. This furniture because you can simply take that insert out right there, change the table to the Dream Dinette table and have a standard face-to-face -face dinette. Or you can add that insert and add the freestanding single leg pedestal base here in the D table and make your free face-to-face -face dinette into a U-shape if you want down the road. One additional benefit is you can also add a sofa or theater seating into that same dinette space if you wanted two sets of theater seating in this unit. The U-shaped dinette is rounded on the back sides and it slides so you can slide it in and out with additional company so you can have the full U-shape effect. As you can see here giving you a lot more seating space all the way around your U-shaped dinette. Below the modular dinette furniture on both face-to-face -face and U-shape is a storage drawer on both sides as you can see here. These are nice deep drawers nicely finished off. Bullnose grabber catches here. Giving you lots of additional storage on the inside of your dinette. As we come on through, you see the large window in your dinette area, giving you easy access to view the outdoors when needed. And it also comes with a USB 12 volt charging station and a 110 outlet in your dinette. 
As we move to the front of the dinette is your large 8 cubic foot stainless steel refrigerator. Stainless steel appliances is new for 2017 this year. Nice solid handle, push button latch, pulls open. You can see a large freezer at the top, storage in the door, and again a very large lower refrigerator section. Notch out for large containers, gallons of milk, etc. and full storage in your door. Remember this is an 8 cubic foot refrigerator. Speaking of the galley, that's to the right of the door as you enter in. You can see here is the stainless steel oven with sealed burner cooktop. The sealed burner cooktop has a removable grate. You simply pull out the way for easy cleaning. The burner is not only just sealed as you see here, the entire cooktop is sealed with no opening so there's no debris to get down near the pilot light cause a fire hazard plus cleaning is just simply remove the grate and wipe it down which is a really nice feature and an exclusive on the Eagle Cap ALP products. Above that is your stainless steel vent hood for the oven, stove top, and your stainless steel microwave. Eagle Cap 1160 has large overhead storage above the galley sink area. Big deep storage back and behind for all of your large items. You could put pots and pans or dishes, whatever in this section. On the inside of this cabinet door is where the factory weight from the factory is on these units. It will show you the base dry weight at the top, the same sticker, then it will show you the actual weight of this unit as it left the factory. New countertop this year is the Granite Coat molded one piece fiberglass countertops called Granite Coat. Gives you a solid surface look without the heavy weight. Molded sinks, you don't have any sink mounted into the unit. Stainless steel nickel appliances. This has the filtered water, water filter option. And you can see the new backsplash for 2017 on the Eagle Cap products. The 1160 comes with a countertop extension here. You simply lift that up into place, gives you a large countertop area in the galley. Just above your countertop is your dual thermostat, which runs your heating and air conditioning. Dual controls. You set the temperature and turn it on to heat or cool. Above this unit is the optional 32 inch living room TV it's on a swivel pivot mount so you can simply pull this chain right here and it pivots and you can adjust the viewing angle for the dinette or leave it in its standard closed position for the rear viewing or you can move it so that you can view it easily from both locations. 12 volt TV so you don't have to run a 110 power to as soon as you come into the door to the right on the end of the galley cabinet is your AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth stereo system. TV we just talked about, you can put your DVD in here and watch DVDs from your stereo onto your 12 volt system and never plug into 110 power or fire up your generator. It's a very nice feature. These are also RV marine grade stereo and television systems so they're built for the extended moisture and hard knocks of RVing and the stereo is also Bluetooth capable so you can sync your music from your phone into your stereo system and control it while you're out at the campground. Below your galley section is you've got a lot of storage. You've got the storage underneath the oven, two large drawers here that pull out, nice deep drawers, ball bearing metal roller guides for ease of use and longevity. Got the stainless steel large oven above that. To the left of that is your bank of four deep drawers for additional storage all the way to the top, giving you huge storage in this unit. To the left of that section is your under sink storage. This gives you a large storage area for more storage underneath here, pots and pans, etc. The galley is well equipped with 110 outlets. You have one at the face, second one below the countertop flip up, along with your 
CO2, de CO2 detector and your power station with your breakers and fuses. As we move to the front of the galley, you can see the dry bath entry door here. This is a new door for this year. It's a solid residential style door. Regular residential handle. You can see the thickness of the door. It gives you a full interior door style like in your home. As you enter into the dry bath, you can see the flooring comes all the way through. This has the foot flush porcelain style toilet. It has the tub shower enclosure. One piece fiberglass tub shower through to the top. No ABS surround. Got a hanging rack for additional wet items, drainage, or additional clothing hanging. This has a retractable shower rod. It's an extended position here. So you can extend it when showering for more room in the shower. You simply just push it back for travel. And it's back in out of the way, allowing your shower curtain to drain properly or for more hanging space. To the front of the shower, bath shower combination is a slide out pantry. Simply grab that handle right there, slide it out with adjustable shelves to store your bath items. You can see the nice bath countertop here, satin nickel faucets, single bowl sink, and your mirrored medicine cabinet matches your interior wood decor. Giving you storage for your medicine, toothpaste, etc. Another feature you'll notice is the tall skylight in the shower giving you an additional seven to eight inches of interior height making it easy to shower for people that are 6'4 and taller. One of the greatest features of the 1160-65 product with Eagle Cap is it's an above the floor bed rail design meaning this floor is built up over the bed rails you don't have the traditional multi shapes going into the bed of the truck gives you that large storage area we talked about area but earlier but this feature is the best part because it's a real easy set down to get into your bedroom this is like sitting on your queen bed at home this is about 22 inches tall you just simply sit down on it and scoot into your bedroom as you enter into your queen bed bedroom suite you can see the large window on the driver's side with pull down shade to darken it for sleeping here is a view of that window shade pulled down in a closed position. Shirt wardrobe with two drawers up at the front. You can see the overhead shelf, the Hecky skylight, which is standard, the bedspread, which is standard on this model, the nightstand on the passenger side, and another large window for cross ventilation. Mirrored sliding wardrobe for large storage. For all of your hanging items. Above the mirrored wardrobe is a shelf location on top of the wardrobe where you can store additional items. As you come to the rear wall, the front of the bath wall, is your TV connection. If you order the 28 inch TV it would go in this location. This is pre-wired for TV and the antenna is built into this unit. Interior in the wall so there's no antenna on the roof with a 30,000 BTU furnace and the best insulation industry this model here's a vent into the bedroom this is an adjustable vent so you can adjust the direction of the flow so you can have the flow into your bedroom accordingly there's an additional floor register and one at the rear of the unit by the recliner as you see here by the recliner sofa rear window section Standard Eagle Cap also is the LED mood lighting, which is around your Fantastic Fan. Fantastic Fan has three speed controls on it to easily exhaust the warm air with the windows open. This will actually replace air conditioning up to about 80 degrees. The modular dinette makes easily into a bed. You simply pull that table out of, insert the additional filler piece that comes with the unit, usually stored in one of the closets, and this makes into a nice bed. That concludes our walk around of the 2017 Eagle Cap 1160 double slide truck camper. If you would like more information please visit our website at AMLR